I, I was amazed at how different the surf is than what that, than what I'm used to. Like, I, I mean, there was a huge wave. Yeah. Versus the world versus the area. Yeah. 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 Well, again, Harry Cove is Bay Side. Yeah. And that's the uh, ocean side. And you have the the, the current or. Yeah. decomposing um, like the pine cones, the needles, the leaves, everything, the moss, the lichen. <laughs> <laughs> the dunes back to the state that they were in before the shacks were built and because the shacks were in such bad shape they were practically unlivable so they viewed them as debris so when the first guy passed away in 1989 or so they went and they released the shack without telling anybody but of course when the towns found out they were outraged because of the history and the heritage that people famous people that stayed out here but not only that just the families who owned Shacks didn't want to think of their shacks. So Josephine Del Deo, Ray Wells, the Peaked Hill Trust, these people had a huge part in fighting the government. And eventually, after years of litigation, they were able to put the shacks on the registry of historic places. So now the shacks can't be touched by the government. They can't get torn down, which is how people ended up with these long-term leases. So Lori Schechter, for example, is a an individual who has a long-term lease with the Peg Watson Shack. So they gave her that lease after the litigations were over. Um, with this stipulation, her and a couple other people who have long-term leases um, with the Shacks, um, with the stipulation that they restore them and maintain them and keep maintaining them. So that's how these shacks are occupied, maintained, and so that they don't just sit empty all the time. Lori 
Troy Schechter originally had a 16 year lease and now her lease is renewed every year. So what I just picked are uh, bayberry leaves. You wanna kinda, it kinda gives you an idea of if you wanna kinda take it and rub it around in your hand. Cool. Yeah. Like this, rub it around and smell it. They might be too dried out, but give you kind of an idea, kind of Christmassy, piney smell. 